This reaction is brought to you by my five dollar or more patrons at patreon.com slash Alex Heights. I would like to thank Identitech, TFG, William Myatt, Will E, Steve Aldersley, Kurt David, Jason Bates, Bates at girl um at Hot Girl Video 69 on Twitter, Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, Andres Glacel, Biff C, B Jabber, and Joey Enough for sponsoring this video, supporting me and my family, the channel. Thank you all so much. Hope you enjoy the video. It's an emergency, emergency reaction. Whenever some of my favorite bands do a drop, drop music, you know, uh, an album, I have to do it right away. Fleet Foxes, uh, Coldplay, uh, um, Sufjan Stevens, although I did not do uh, his last one. But <laughs> I'm, I'm a hypocrite. Anyway, uh, yeah, surprise, quick reaction, mainly doing this because it's going to be short. Um, what is it? 22, 21 minutes, I think. 21 minutes. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the new beach house. I'm so excited. I love beach house. I've done tier lists, um, on this channel and stuff about beach house. I think, I don't know. I love beach house. One of my favorite dream pop bands. And they are now finally dropping something new after seven from, I think 2018. Yeah. Uh, which was a, a really nice album. Really nice. Um, yeah, so this is Once Twice Melody, Chapter 1. Uh, just reading from the Bandcamp page here, Once Twice Melody is the eighth studio album by Beach House. It is a double album featuring 18 songs presented in 14 chapters. I believe this thing will be like 84 minutes. Across these songs, many types of style and song structures can be heard. Songs without drums. Songs centered around acoustic guitar. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it said that it says here that uh, this is the first album produced entirely by the band. Uh, live drums uh, were by a guy who helped on uh, Seven, um, and it's the first time a live string ensemble was used. Um, so this is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. Most of the songs were created during. Uh, 2018 to July of 2021, um, though it's a few date back over the previous 10 years. So I am excited for this. Um, I, I pondered, like, should I do the whole thing in February of next year, or should I just do each chapter as it comes out? And then, like, maybe a follow-up at the end. And I decided on the latter. So uh, it'll be kind of nice to just do, like, you know, little chunks of 20-ish uh, minutes at a time listening to these things and you know i'm curious to see why they're doing it this way but uh we're just gonna hop right on in um for those who don't know i do unedited reactions on my patreon patreon.com slash alex heights uh head on over there if you would like to um support the channel ten dollars a month gets you access to all of my reactions from modest mouse going forward unedited uh, including this one uh and all future ones I uh, have a few people supporting at the $10 level, so if you're interested, head on over there. If not, a dollar a month supports the channel, gets you access to polls that I do every two to four albums where people can vote for which album I listen to next. All right, Once Twice Melody. We have four tracks here. Uh, the title track, Superstar, Pink Funeral, and Through Me. Let's just begin uh, with the title track here. I hope it's good. I've heard mixed things, but I think it just dropped last night, so... Let's go. interesting um i liked it they're definitely like i wouldn't say pulling away from the dream pop thing because it still definitely has the dream pop angle but like seven leaned hard on the on the neo psychedelia and 
I can kind of feel that here too. Um, and after that description on their band camp, like, I wouldn't say I'm worried. I'm just concerned that this is just going to be like too, uh, messy, too all over the place. Um, hopefully there's like a nice tone and like mood and flow through the whole thing. Um, but this is definitely walking further down that road that seven walked down. Um, which I don't really have a problem with that per se. It's not my preferred sound for Beach House, but at least they're changing it up. All right. Uh, next track, Superstar. Is it a cover of The Carpenters? Great. Loved it. Um, much like what Seven did, uh, like a lot of their earlier stuff was very straightforward. And then with Seven, they they started like twisting. It's kind of where the Neo psych comes in. They started kind of twisting the chord progressions a little bit and throwing in weird oddballs, weird modulations. And I, it, it's... It doesn't always work. Like there's some tracks on seven where I'm just like, you 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 tried a little too hard and it didn't it didn't stick the landing. Um, but this was fantastic. I think that was really good. I like it. Pink funeral. They are really trying a lot of new stuff. Um, it's good. Uh, I don't like that one as much as Superstar. Probably about the same as Once, Twice Melody. Uh, production is great. I saw someone uh, on Rate Your Music mention how Victoria's vocals are a lot more restrained on this. Um, they're just kind of very straight. And Seven had that a little bit as well. Um, you don't really have that like soaring thing that... Uh, she really highlighted on like Teen Dream and Bloom. Um, and even on like more restrained albums like the debut and Devotion, there was still a lot of passion. This just feels like much more like femme fatale, noir kind of sultry delivery. And that's not a bad thing. It's just I miss the soaring stuff. Also, I feel like this might be like the Beatles White album where it's just like there's not necessarily any consistent tone. It's just a bunch of tracks. <laughs> it's uh, it sounds like it's going to be very eclectic um and with this i got some wildly different moods than the some of the previous songs okay last one through me
good it's good uh yeah so <laughs> what a reaction it's good the for this ep slash quarter of the album i have these songs kind of ranked as like once twice melody three out of five superstars four pink funeral is three and through me was 3.5 uh it's solid it is solid. The production is arguably the best part, followed closely by the songwriting. Um, the the those catchy earworm melodies are somewhat absent. I feel like Superstar had it a bit. Maybe Pink Funeral did as well. Um, I don't know. There's something about uh, Alex Scally's uh, guitar lines that are just like really really nice. But when they rely on, like, other instruments, it doesn't shine as strongly. But then again, they haven't had as much time to really hone those those uh, chops, you know? Um, but all in all, I think it's solid. It's it's not... It's really hard to gauge at this point with just four tracks. But uh, I like it. I like it. I think it's quite nice. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Things to plug, patreon.com slash alexheights. Head on over here, like I said before. If you'd like to support the channel, dollar a month gets you access to polls, $10 a month unedited reactions, and the Discord. Link in the description for that. We have almost 150 members over there. Music discussion, recommendations, topster charts, controversial topics, and memes. All the things. Uh, head on over there if you would like to join the community of this man. <laughs> anyway. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, Godspeed.